Arabic learning must be easy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Luay. Welcome to the fourth lecture of the language course on our channel, Academia Dimashq or Damas Academy. Here we go. What shall we do today? So, in this video, we learn about the following. Step number one is the introduction, where I will provide some interesting cultural information regarding the language in every video in our course. Then, in the second step, we learn the fourth letter. In the third step, we will practice tashkilat and articles as usual. And the last part of our talk today is grammar, an important rule about al-at-ta'arif that we will discuss. The Arabic language is one of the most productive languages in terms of linguistic material. For example, the 13th century dictionary of Lisan al-Arab by Ibn Mandur contains more than 80,000 words, while, for example, in the English language, the dictionary of Samuel Johnson contains 42,000 words. Arabic had a direct and indirect influence on many other languages, such as Turkish, Persian, Kurdish, Indonesian, Albanian, and some other African languages such as Hausa, Amharic, and some European languages. So many terms were entered in English such as Admiral, Tarif, Al-Kuhul, Algebra, and star names, etc. Arabic can be called the Dad language. Dad is one of the special Arabic letters that we will get to know in our series. And finally, the numbers that we use today in everyday life come from Arabic origins, such as the number 4 of this slide. Our letter today is Th. The Th is written in such a way that it looks like a duck with the addition of three points or arrowhead on top. There is also the explanatory video that clearly shows how to write the th. So as we learned the letter th in the last video, the letters have different forms. The letter th also has three forms, namely written at the beginning of the word or in the middle or at the end of the word but there is also an exception for the second form as we have seen in the previous lectures the letters may be generally in the middle or at the end of the word and still not have the appropriate form we will see this in the following examples and now the video The original form, the first form, the second, and the third. Let's go on. Here we have two examples of the first form of the letter th at the beginning of the word. As simple examples, we have the noun Thawb, Thawb, Fatha on Tha, and Sukun on Waw, as well as on Ba. Thawb is a general word for garment. It can be a dress or pants or whatever. And the second example is the uh, noun Thum. Thum, so Dhamma on Th, Sukun on Waw, and also on Meme. Thum means garlic. 
It's a coincidence that both examples, the letter wow, occurred with sukun on the middle, so it's not a rule at all. On the next slide, we have two examples of the second form of the letter th, namely muthallath, muthallath, this means triangle, and athath. Athath means furniture. In the second example, athath, th takes the first form in the middle and that is irregular because there is alif in front of it and the next th where it's actually at the end of the word and at the same time has the main form. As the rule says, there are certain letters that are only partially connected to the other letters in the word, such as the letter alif in this example. We see that alif is only connected to the previous letter but not to the next, so partly. In this case, write the next letter in the original form if there is no additional letters in the word. Next, we have two examples of the third form of th, which are laith, laith, which means lion. You notice that there is fatha on lam, sukun on ya, whom we get to know later, and also sukun on tha. In the second example, there is an Arabic male name, Riyath, Riyath, so Kasra under Ghain, Fatha on Ya, and Sukun on Tha. That was all about letter Tha, and finally we come to the grammatical part. Today we are going to take a look at the, a new rule regarding al tarif that we should definitely learn. In the second lecture, we got to know al tarif with this slide and that it's used in all cases, masculine, feminine or plural. Today we are concerned with the question of why the letter lam in al tarif is not pronounced with all nouns. As we can see, here are two examples of defined nouns. The first is athath and with al tarif becomes al athath and in the second example the noun thawb which with al tarif becomes athawb or athawbu. The reason behind this, there are two kinds of the letter lam in this regard. Either lam qamariya, lam qamariya, or lam shamsiya, lam shamsiya. So, what's the difference? We read and try to understand the definitions. Al lam al qamariya is when the letter lam is written and read in al tarif while al lam al shamsiya when the letter lam is written in al tarif but not read plus the addition the shadda on the first letter of the noun to put it simply al lam al qamariya written and read Alam Ashamsiya written but not read plus Shadda. Now the question is when one of the two types is used, we know that from this rule. Alam Al Qamariya always follows one of these fourteen letters Alif Ba Jim Ha Kha Ain, Rain, Fa, Kaf, Kaf, Mim, Ha, Wow, and Ya. So, 
if the first letter of the noun is one of those letters comes lam qamariya we take three examples of words that we already had the first noun bun and becomes albun albun the second example bint becomes albinti or albintu albinta whatever and finally athath becomes al athath al athath we see that the letter lam is pronounced clearly albun albint al athath on the other hand Al-Lam Al-Shamsiya always follows one of these remaining 14 letters Ta, Tha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin, Shin, Sad, Dad, Tah, Zah, Noon, and Lam. You can see in this following examples that in the case of Alam Ashamsiya, there is always a Shadda on the first letter of the noun. The first example, Laythu, becomes Al Laythu with Shadda on Lam. Al Laythu. This lam actually belongs to the noun, so not to al tarif The second noun, thum or thuma, becomes a thum or a thuma, a thumu, a thumi, with shadda on tha, a thum. And as a final example, we have the noun zayt and becomes as zayt as zayt or as zayti as zayta as zaytu that's it for this lecture to practice writing the letter i have attached a pdf file in the info box below you can print it out and then take your time to practice writing with it i have also prepared a small quiz for you which you can also print out in the info box below and finally i summarize the content of the lecture for you in the third document i hope that the presentation was simple and understandable for you so good luck and see you next time